Hey everybody, how's it going? My lab partner and I for our fluid project, we're sitting around thinking that we could probably make a U-shaped manometer out of common household items. Use that with oil and water to be able to calculate the specific weight of oil. So that's what we're going to try to do today. We'll go through it and we'll see how it works. Our theory was that if we took basic household items and, and made a manometer that contained water and oil by adding water first and oil to the right side, uh, we would end up basically with a situation like this where the majority is filled with water and then there's oil on the right side. The dashed line between two and four is, is a horizontal line and that's significant because Horizontally, the, the pressure doesn't vary because of the hydrostatic equation. The pressure at two should be equal to the pressure at four. So between three and four, we figure we can calculate the pressure at four with the hydrostatic equation by doing the pressure at three plus the gamma of the oil and Z3 is equal to pressure at four plus gamma of the oil Z4. Now there are some things that can be canceled out here because the pressure at 3 is 0. Z4 is at our dash line which we set as our, as our datum, so that's 0, so that cancels out. It ends up with the pressure at 4 being equal to the gamma oil and Z3. Similarly, the pressure at 2 we figured could be calculated in the same way uh, and derive in the same way, cross out the same things to end up with the pressure at two being equal to the gamma of the water, Z1. And as I stated before, our theory is that pressure at four and the pressure at two are equal. So because of that, we could set them equal to each other, which would give us the gamma of the water, Z1, is equal to gamma the oil Z3. We, we are trying to solve for and determine our gamma oil, so rearranging the equation, we would end up with gamma of the water times Z1 divided by Z3. All right, everybody, here's our homemade manometer setup. We have some basic clear three quarter inch flexible tubing. We're going to first start with adding some amount of water. Next, in order to create the situation we talked about before, we're going to add our oil to one side only. Now we have our setup in our manometer. Our next step is to mark a horizontal line from this oil water line. To across to the other side because that's where the pressures will be equal. We have marks on our manometer um, at the same elevation. So now we will take measurements from these marks to the top of the liquid surface. All right, we took our measurements and all right, so based, based off of those numbers, Plugging them into our original formula. With all of that, our calculations gave us a specific weight of 91, excuse me, 9114. Again, the units on that would be newtons per meter cubed. Based off of that number, you know, it's, it's easy to then find the density which we calculated to be 930. You can also find the specific gravity, which we calculated to be 0.92. We looked up some published values for those numbers and uh, our, our, our numbers were fairly similar. All right, so there you have it. It seems my partner and I proved that our theory seems valid. 